Fellas, up next to match. I cannot wait for the scintillating AR Fox. Gets his title opportunity against the New Japan Pro Wrestling World TV Champion, Zack Sabre Jr. Following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the New Japan Pro Wrestling World TV Championship. And the winner of this match will defend the championship at New Japan Pro Wrestling Dominion. Wow, high stakes here, 15 minute time limit. You gotta beat the champ in that time limit or the champ retains. Introducing first, the challenger, wrestling on in Sonia, Connecticut, weighing 185 pounds, A.R. Fox. Nigel, we were in disbelief last week. The resilience of A.R. Fox sustaining not one, not two, but three pile drivers, neck breakers, DDTs, you name it, found a way to beat Anthony Henry. Almost superhuman endurance from A.R. Fox. Certainly will help him out tonight, but it might hurt him as well, because you have to think, Caprice, he's got to still be feeling some of the damage from that match. And sometimes when you get hit, you don't feel it until weeks or days later, and that's when it adds up. Orlando about to explode the controlled chaos of one of the greatest technical wrestlers of all time about to hit Universal. His opponent, wrestling of Isle of Sheppey, Kent England, weighing 209 pounds, he is the new Japan Pro Wrestling World TV Champion, Zack Sabre Jr. You can talk about Happy Mondays, you can talk about Oasis, Ocean Color Scene, Nigel, Zack Sabre Jr. to me reminds me of the Buzzcocks, the X-Ray Specs, that controlled chaos where he's things are moving fast around him, but he is in control of the time. Zack Sabre Jr. is one of the best representations of British technical wrestling in the world today. And look at this, the confidence of Fox, the swagger of Sabre, Stefan Smith there with the NJPW World Television Championship, a title created with the intent of defending it on streaming and television platforms around the globe. We're so glad it is here once again here at Ring of Honor, a 15 minute time limit. And again, this, these rules favor the champion Caprice. I think back to Lord Steven Regal when he was yeah. the World Television Champion he could stretch out those time limits and keep the title against Sting, against Ric Flair, and really wrestle to those rules. Sabre hates those rules in a way. He wants to get a win within them, and he feels if it goes to the time limit, he's lost. That's absolutely right. And Nigel, it was just a couple of days ago, it was Sabre versus Jeff Cobb as Fox with a wrist lock and hammer lock of his own. Jeff Cobb took Sabre to the time limit. And that almost insulted Sabre that he couldn't put Cobb away in the 15 minutes. Well, that is the pride of Zack Sabre Jr. Feels as though there's not another competitor on the planet that can last 15 minutes with him if it comes down to just technical wrestling. And you can see from the outset there why they might be feeling that way. Although having said that, it was A.R. Fox who got the better of that first exchange. Definitely look at AR Fox and you think the ultimate high flyer. You look at Zack Sabre, the ultimate technical wrestler. But like you said, Nigel, AR Fox is saying, hey, I got some technical ability in there too. Train some of the best in the world. Oh, it gets out of that cravat quick. That must have been survival from AR Fox. That neck damaged last week. There's a shoulder tackle. And, and Nigel, every time that, that Fox is sent down to the mat, even if it's even if it's a move like that, he's got to worry about the neck on the impact of landing on those drop kicks. Yeah, it's certainly, be a concern. certainly can be a factor if there's damage to the neck. It's hard to control the whiplash anytime you move in the ring. And certainly, AR Fox is known for moving all over the ring. Oh. Mm. Boots into the chest, lateral press here. Two. Sometimes you build those calluses around your neck area. I had calluses in my knees. I never had neck issues, thanks be to God, but I did have knee issues. And it's sometimes it was those calluses that protected you at times, but hurt you when it came time for surgery. And when they build up, there's nothing you can oh. do about it. And, and Caprice after the sling blade here, it's A.R. Fox wow. diving to the outside, catching the champion. Let's see that again. 
And, and look at the elevation, Nigel, clearing that top rope by a good foot and a half. And you can see the landing there. Got all of his body weight behind it. Forced Sabre Jr. hard to the mat. And just stalking his prey here. If I'm Air Fox, I, I got to move. I got to push the pace. Oh, shotgun drop kick. Well, that's A.R. Fox bidding his time there. And, and you both can correct me if I'm wrong. Cover. I, I think if you're Fox, you got to push the pace. You only got 15 minutes to put away one of the best endurance athletes in the world. Well, it's definitely something to that when you have an advantage against Zack Sabre Jr. You won't have it for very long to try to capitalize when you can. But unfortunately, when you do push the pace, sometimes that's how you get caught. Yeah, it's like swinging with the big uppercuts, the big punches, and a jab knocking you out. Larry Holmes knows that also well. It's a great analogy. Capri says, we see this great submission. Just wrenching that arm back, trying to hyperextend it. The shoulder, that ball and socket also affected. Zabra's targeted the left arm of Fox. He's been on that uh, for the last two minutes there. Uh, the joint manipulation. A number of British competitors of the passes will get a clean break there from Zack Sabre Jr. What a champion. Oh. No question who your favorite is in this match, Nigel. Well, I do love technical wrestling, as I said. I don't come much better when it comes to technical wrestling than Zack Sabre Jr. who learned... Oh, wow. You know, there's shades of all the great British wrestlers of the past. Steve Gray, Mal Sanders. See a bit of every one of them. And we'd be remiss if, if we didn't acknowledge the comparisons to you, Nigel McGuinness, one of the greatest Ring of Honor world champions of all time. Well, I'll take that. Thank you very much, Ian. Checks yeah, in the mail. I give that as well. Yeah. Kick to the midsection here. Fox sees an opening. Charging. Oh, and he, and he can't even Irish whip him there. Yeah. And, oh, ooh. Ooh. You know, he went down to protect his shoulder and land it on his head. And that, that shows you what kind of damage that shoulder's in. Yeah. And Trying to break the fingers of Fox. The fingers, a joint manipulation straight out. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Definitely using that arm as a focal point. To your on point, AR though, Fox. Caprice, when you whip someone out like that, they've got two choices. Either they can propel themselves over to protect their shoulder, or they're going down hard, and AR Fox didn't decide which one to choose. Yeah, he decided too late. Oh, oh, that, oh he's caught again. Looking for that cross arm breaker here. The fingers were locked. Great protective move by Fox trying to stack. Sabre up. Sabre rolling through. Yeah. Offense into defense and defense into offense, but into the ropes. You got to know Sabre's playing chess in there. Every move that he's doing, he's planning ahead four or five moves. AR Fox would be in a lot of trouble if he doesn't get something in that means something very fast. Whoa. Oh, AR goodness, Fox that... just causing more damage to his own shoulder by holding on to the top rope. Big clothesline, though, sends Sabre down. Using his good right arm to protect the left arm. Smart move from AR Fox. But the time is ticking away, fellas. How much time do we have left in the 15 minutes? I haven't been checking. We're about six minutes in, nearly seven minutes in at this stage of the match, almost halfway through, Nigel, as oh. Air Fox with a big boot there. Oh, and again. And it's Fox charging in, and this is the pace caprice that I think Fox needs to be at. Why? Sabre ate that boot. But Fox back up the ladder. It's Zagari. It's Fox swinging through with that suplex. Hooks the leg. Cover. Two. The challenger gets two in the center. This is the control that Fox needs. Fox needs to be in definite control and able to respond from it. He's been in control before, but not able to capitalize. Now he's able to capitalize. He needs more bang for his buck for these opportunities. Yeah, he doesn't need doesn't need the home run here, but he needs to keep hitting singles. Double yeah. wrist lock there from Zack Sabre Jr. And shots to the midsection. Fox getting that fireman's carry positioning, but Sabre back to the wrist lock into the kick. Yeah, great game plan. 
Oh! Saber's at a point where he can work on other parts of your body and go right back to the arm. He has crippled Fox at this point of the match, Nigel. Yeah, hold on, cover here. No potentially oh. another. Oh! PK! Oh, wow, that landed. One, two, stacks him up. Just a two count there. You know, that looks like a cocky cover, and it is, but he had every bit of A.R. Fox's weight on his shoulders. He had him trapped. You got some fight in you yet, darling? Oh, just... This is for the big boy championship. New Japan, mate. Wake up, Dickens. Oh, and it's Sabre just taunting Fox. Fox won't give up. Fox getting back to his feet, absorbing those taps, and the taps with increasing fervor. Oh, wow. Sabre open wide for that. You might regret it. Big shot to the midsection there. Dump to the outside, it's Fox. Yeah, but Sabre landed on his feet. And, and Fox noticeably a step slower at this point in the match, but taking that to his own advantage as he kicks Sabre in the head. Can he follow through? DDT! Whoa. DDT plants the champion. This could Come be Sabre it. stiff. One, two. two. Wow. Sabre was stiff. You could see him feeling his neck there. That impact had a lot on the neck of Sabre. Sabre is still recovering from it, and Fox is not finished. Let's see if we can take another look. If we can, just watch here the impact. Paused and down to the top of his head. Yeah! And as we're back to live action, yeah, yeah, yeah. it is Zack Sabre Jr. in trouble, the champion in trouble, as Fox goes to the top. Oh, what is Sabre doing? Oh, oh, oh. Come on, let's go. Oh. Stepping over into, into a Cobra oh. twist, oh. assisted by that top rope. Version of the abdominal stretch. Caused some more damage to the shoulder. But Fox! Whoa! What an opportunity oh. here! Two! Oh. And oh. Out the back door! You can see Fox frustrated by the resolve of the champion. Sabre in a lot of trouble, but he's not going anywhere soon. But I tell you what, this title match is not what Sabre expected. Five minutes remaining with a 15 minute time limit. I think that was five minutes left, is that correct, Yep. Five minutes left as A.R. Fox, who's one bounce in Ring of Honor and AEW with that 450. Sabre out of the way. Smart and Fox move. Had, yeah, yeah he's, he's got Sabre in his sights. He's got Sabre in his sights. It's A.R. Fox again this time. Flipping over the top. We'll take another look. And again, what a great shot from our awesome camera crew here. Same thing as the first dive. He managed to get all of his body weight into contact with Zack Sabre Jr., forcing him down to the mat. This is AR Fox's match to lose. And, and he, Sabre's in a prone position. Fox could hit that 450 Caprice. Yeah, he needs to hurry up and do it, though. Yeah. No. Whoa. Going home. What? Swing and a miss. Fox around the world. Sabre Four minutes. catches the arms trapped into the bridge. That's it. He's Two. Trapped. Whoa! Fox gets out of the genie pin. Stepping through, around. Sabre! Ooh! And That's what I mean. He's able to hit other parts of the body now because he has the arm crippled, breaking down every limb of AR Fox. And Sabre not content with trying to run the clock out, has that oh, ankle lock. Up. And Fox doing everything he can to break it. Fox severely limited right now. Zack Sabre Jr. has taken Fox apart piece by piece. Ooh, inside ankle trap. And look at that, diving through, rolling through, front face lock. Sabre up and over. Sabre catches Fox into the, the the spladel into an ankle lock. This could be ankle it. lock, hyper right knee extension. The ring. Yeah, and on that shoulder, that shoulder planted down. Oh, stretch muffler. Spladel into a stretch muffler. 
The winner of this match by submission and still New Japan Pro Wrestling World TV Champion, Zack Sabre Jr. Zack Sabre Jr. will go on to Dominion June the 4th this weekend. He'll be a tag team action, teaming with Bad Dude Tito in Long Beach for New Japan. As we take a look, Nigel, we've seen wrestlers in Ring of Honor win with a splato with a stretch muffler. We've never seen a splato stretch muffler in Ring of Honor before. Well, you have now, and you can see from the angle the awkward talk of the ligaments of the groin. Zach Sabre Jr., Fox. huge congratulations. Great victory here tonight defending your New Japan Pro Wrestling TV title. Now, five months ago, you made history when you became the inaugural New Japan Pro Wrestling TV champion. Since then, you've had seven successful title defenses. You're set to face Jeff Cobb at New Japan Pro Wrestling Dominion. How are you feeling? Bloody marvelous! Ah, I, I, since I joined New Japan, I set my sights on the IWGP Heavyweight title. But then, an opportunity arose. A chance to make history, become the first champion, pour all my energy into a brand new championship. And guess what? I'm the best champion in the bloody world, mate. And not just the best champion, the most active television champion in all of professional wrestling. Huh? <laughs> well, I think someone oh, yeah. may have oh taken God. exception to that comment. Oh, please. <laughs> Nigel, are you on the same wavelength I am? About to find out. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, Zack Sabre Jr. Welcome back. Welcome back, Zack Sabre Jr. Uh, I must admit, Zack, I'd be greeting you with much more of a jovial spirit, but unfortunately, you brought something down to the ring which greatly offends me. So I'll be honest, in the world of television championships, here in Ring of Honor, as far as I'm concerned, there can be only one. Now, I know the powers that be don't want this to happen. We don't want anybody to lose face in this wonderful cultural exchange, right? But you know what, Zach? I'm looking around, and I don't see the powers that be out here. I just see me and you, a little bit of air, and a lot of opportunity. So how about we find out who is the one, and how about we do it tonight? Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah. Mmm. Mm. No. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now that's a very interesting suggestion, Samoa Joe. But you can't just be making matches around here. You're not the king of television anymore. You are, however, the Ring of Honor television champion, Zack Sabre Jr., the New Japan television champion. Now, I've been a television champion in the past, but this gentleman to my right is long overdue for some singles gold, whether it's Ring of Honor or New Japan. So, Matt, what do you think about your opportunity to maybe be TV champion one day? CD, I can feel those TV titles pulling me towards them. I'm only here for the big matches, and that's why I've got my eye on these two. And if you want to stand between me and those TV titles, you're in for a bad trip. So boys, if the challenge is out, which one of you wants to step up and give Matt Seidel an opportunity at that gold over your shoulders? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Hold your bloody horses. Right, hear me out, Samoan Joseph. I have a cunning plan. Because uh, those gentlemen over there, they aren't just ROH legends. 
They're former world tag team champions, aren't they? Yeah. So, how about as the TV champions of the world? We team up. Be quiet, love, all right? I'm talking. <laughs> Joseph, the TV champions team up, and we give an opportunity to the former world tag team champions. And if either of these gentlemen beat either of the te television champions, then you'll earn yourself a nice little title match, won't you? Because we're, we're defending champions. Uh, and then, then after we deal with these buffoons, perhaps, perhaps, perhaps we'll find out who the best television champion in all of pro wrestling is, mate. Wow, that picture is worth 10,000 words. The two television champions, but Seidel and Daniels, they want their own shot. Seidel wants in the mix here for the World Television, the New Japan World Television titles. Fans, we will bring you that announcement when it becomes official. Sabre and Samoa Joe versus Daniels and Matt Seidel. What a tag team bout that would be. Your winner here tonight, though, for the New Japan World Television Championship, the champ retains Zack Sabre Jr. victorious. Solid.